Brian, you opened up with a nice win. Uh, what did you learn from your team on opening night? Well, I, I learned that, that they uh, really know how to prepare and uh, that they'll play awfully hard fourth quarters, and that's really exciting to see that. Again, yeah, talk about Watt. He seemed to have quite a connection with the receivers. Yeah, I mean, uh, first, just like Seth brought up, our offensive line really blocked well, and then our receivers made plays for him, and, and Lawton worked within the framework of our offense and how we try to do things, didn't try to do too much, and, and I'm really proud of kind of all the guys on the offensive side of the ball. He kind of went out with a tweaked ankle. <coughs> Is he going to be able to play this week against Randall? Y yes, he'll, he'll be ready to go. But your backup, though, came in and did an outstanding job. Yeah, uh, Coach Winfrey, our quarterback's coach, does an unbelievable job with those kids from top to bottom all the way through seventh grade. And Jay DeFore is a sophomore, and he is special. He's going to be a great one. And anytime he gets in, if you watched him in scrimmages or in that game, uh, he's a playmaker. He's confident, and uh, we, we like who we got there. Um, talk about this rivalry as a quarterback and just kind of the mindset you know, it, it, it's, it's a fun game. It really is, and especially with it not being a district game. Uh, I think the, the kids and the fans probably make a little more of it than we do as coaches. I, I admire Coach Selman and the job that he does over there. He has a great program. Kids play hard. They played unbelievably great against Midland. And so we just need to go out and, like Seth said, just try to get better this week. You're playing for the GOAT. Uh, you said it looks a little bit like Coach Selman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where, where will the GOAT be? I'm not sure uh, what Coach Tucker's plan is for that, but I think it's a great idea, and I think it's something. I've already talked to our kids about it, and, and they're excited just to go compete for it, and I think it'll be a deal that, that we carry on for years. Well, your defense had a, a big test on its hands, uh, stopping fish on the <coughs> Yes, he's, a, he's phenomenal, as you know. I mean, and he rushed for 170, 180 yards against a great middle in defense, and uh, I don't think that you can stop him. Maybe you can slow him down some. Uh, maybe he'll get the cramps. I don't know, but but uh, it'll it'll be a challenge. That's for sure. He's huge too. He's like six foot three. So how do you like tell your team like, hey, he's he's just as easy as any other running back to take down? Well, we you're not going to fool your kids. They know how good he is, and it's not just as easy to tackle all the uh, tackle all the other guys. He's special, and and what you got to do is you've got to get one guy the football. Try to tackle him low because he's going to try to run over you. And then you got to get 10 other guys rallying into the football. But he's, he's special, and their offense is really talented. The Knicks kid does a great job. So it's not just him. Was it really strong offensive showing this week? And obviously, it's a good look for the start of the season. How do you kind of pick apart, like, okay, maybe this is what we need to improve on because it's such a good start? Yeah, it's coaches are always going to find detail things that we've got to get better at, especially, you know, after the first game. But, you know, the first thing that we wanted our, our kids to do is have some success because we worked so long and they paid such a big price. Our players and assistant coaches have been amazing in the price that they paid to have that opportunity to win the other night. Uh, but we're constantly, constantly finding ways to get better. And we have a team and a group of players, they want that. They want to be coached hard and we're excited that they're like that.